Hey guys, Tubal here. I've been getting a lot of questions about tips for the challenges in the Atlanta campaign, so I want to go over that today with you guys. This is the Arkansas game that I got the Kraken in when I was going through the challenge. I can't remember what the full term like challenges were. They did have a name, but uh, what, it goes away once you complete them. It's not important. There's three in there in particular that I want to talk about, but you know, I'll make it apparent why I chose this particular ship once we uh, get to the Kraken portion. But I want to preface what I'm saying, or my specific remarks, by just pointing out that these challenges that people are having trouble with, that you have about, what is it, 40 days, give or take, to complete them from, the, from this point in time. Alright. The ship is on fire! Which is a long time. Now, the 150k challenge is going to be very hard for a lot of people to do in particular. I understand that. But if you've been playing the game since launch, you have about as much time now to complete these challenges as, as the game's already been out. So if you look back since day one and compare your skill level now, you know, you're... You're obviously a much better player, right, than the first time you sat down and played this game. Unless you're, uh, you know, you've been playing the PC version for years. But even that, you know, you should still be improving every game. Every game you play and every game you watch, you're gaining experience, right? And this isn't a game that's, like, all about quick twitch reflexes and, you know, you have to be a naturally crazy joystick operator. It's it's a game that, you know, the, the action unfolds at a relatively slow pace compared to a lot of video games. So it makes it a thinking person's game. And it's, so it's an easy game to pick up and play, but to pick up and play it well, you have to learn about the game, alright? And that's, just by the fact that you're sitting here watching this video, I know you're learning about the game, alright? That's going to set you apart from a lot of players. Keep in mind, 5% of the player base, the only thing they're trying to do when they load in a game is see how many times they can say, Oh, Neptune's beard! You know. <laughs> I mean, that's there's a good chunk of players, that's all they're trying to do. So I know for a fact you're getting better than those guys, you know. <laughs> I know you're a better player than the people that do that. But my point is, you know, I, I've said this advice to a couple of people in the comments. You know, it's not nothing to do with my channel in particular. It's just the fact that you're learning about the game outside of just playing it. That's gonna. I know you're gonna get. You're getting better at a much rapid, more rapid pace than a lot of players are. Okay. So just trust that you're gonna continue to get better. If you continue to learn about the game, continue to play it. And. For most players, you know, the 150k game, that's going to be the best game they've played up until that point. You know, I get that. And it's not an easy requirement. It's not like I sat down and did it in, you know, the first two or three games. I had to, you know, I picked a ship I wanted to do it, and I think it took me about 12 or 15 games before I could specifically do it. You know, and I've gotten a couple since then. So they, you can get them done, you know, it's... They do occur, but I understand, you know, that would be, for a lot of you, your best game up until that point. Which is awesome, because every time you sit down and play a game, that's potentially your best game. You know, if you just started playing a couple days ago, 30,000 damage might be your best game. But then, maybe today you're going to get 45,000. Well, that's going to be awesome. That's a huge improvement, right? And so, keep in mind, the length of time you have to do this... And just don't get discouraged, that's my advice, in general, okay? So now we'll talk about the challenges, specifically. Uh, the first one a lot of people are asking me about is the Citadels. What's the best way to get... I can't even remember what it is. Like, is it five or eight or whatever Citadels in a single match? What you want to do, in my opinion, is get uh, American or UK Destroyer. Um... 
probably lower t I think most of these challenges are like three to tiers three to seven if I'm not mistaken for that one I'd probably play a lower tier just because at higher tiers people are, should learn to be shooting destroyers by that point lower tiers a lot of people ignore them because they're harder to hit but just close in to a cruiser that's broadside to you you know, pop a smoke if someone else is spotting them or whatever, you know, just get close to a cruiser that's showing you the broadside, load an AP, shells, two or three salvos shot right at the water line so they're landing in the middle of the ship. You should be getting, you know, two to four or five citadels per salvo, so if they're going to, and at low tiers, like tiers three or four, those cruisers are going to be showing you the full broadside pretty readily and you'll be able to knock it out, you know. It, I think that challenge took me one game to do, and it, really if you're doing what I'm suggesting, it shouldn't take you more than two or three tries, I wouldn't think, to get it. But that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, just, again, close range AP destroyer shots against broadside uh, cruiser targets. All right, you'll be racking them up pretty quickly. Now the 150k damage, uh, that one I had, I talked about, at least in general, what I thought during the Nagato video, I think I put it out like four or five days ago, whatever it was. I'm going to change what I said in that video a little bit, because you guys changed my mind. I said, basically play the highest tier battleship that you have. And um, having unlocked the Iowa last night and playing, you know, I don't play a lot of tier 7 just because I'm trying to unlock a lot of the ships to have the versatility to put out videos on whatever ship it is. Or I don't play a lot of tier 7 compared to the other tiers, let me put it that way. But I played four or five Iowa games last night and then I was reminded of how cautious that tier is. Now you can definitely have some high damage games. But, um, I'd say you're probably better off. For me, I think, like, tier 5, you'd be more likely to get, um, a uh, really high damage game. Again, I don't want to say tier 7, you're never going to get a high damage game like that. I know it's possible. I'm just saying, probability-wise, if you're trying to knock the challenge out, all right. So I'd probably go to, I'd say tier 5, maybe tier 6. I think I got mine in, yeah, tier 6 Nagato, so. You know, again, it's not like the ships in tier 7 can't do it. I just think people are playing a little bit more cautiously at that tier. And they're, in general, the ships are better armored. They're better angled, so. Whatever. That That's, that's my first amendment to that. The second one was the battleships in general. I said that because for me I think a lot of my highest damage games are in battleships but a lot of people came back and said well I I only play destroyers I've played two games in battleships I suck at them or you know variations of that and yeah that's I guess that was just my bias creeping in you know so what I'm changing it to is pick whatever class. I've never seen you play, you know, you've seen every single game you've ever played, right? So you know what class you do really well in. So pick that. Whatever damage, whatever class of ships you have your highest damage games in, pick that. You know, I would say probably tier 5, tier 6. Let it roll in there and just keep playing away, you know, and... Like I say, every game you play, you potentially might have your best game ever. And maybe that's the 150k damage game. So you have some time to do it. Just pick the class of ship you're really good at and just keep plugging away, you know. And don't put a lot of pressure on it. Just play the game. And I, I tend to find if I'm trying to do something difficult in this game that I'm more likely to do it if I'm just playing the game naturally than if I'm like really focused on doing that specific thing, you know, so 
that would be my advice for that one, and I did talk about it more in the Nagato video, so you can also check that one out, but I'd amend it just a little bit to say whatever class of ship you you perform best in. And then for Kraken, um, I find Krakens personally a lot easier to get than 150k damage games. I think they're both challenging, but I get a lot more Krakens than I do at 150k games. That one I would say go back down to tier 3 or 4 and again whatever you know play whatever ship you're comfortable in. Um, for me I chose this Arkansas but I had like I was just gonna play my low tier premiums because I needed credits at this point. Again I was on the verge of unlocking the Iowa and you know if you've gotten any tier 7 ships you know you know how expensive those things are. So I think I was planning on rotating through this, the Marblehead, which is a variant to the Omaha, and um, probably the Texas Alpha. You know, so those are all tier three and four premiums. And again, I was just gonna play until I got a crack, and I happen to get it. I think this is like the second game. You know, during my attempt to do that. So, again, just do what do what you're good at, you know. But I just wanted to point out, I think the lower tiers, it's a lot easier to get Krakens. Now, I, my problem with these challenges are they don't necessarily, um, they don't prioritize playing the game the way I think you should play it. Like this one, I don't necessarily advocate stealing kills. But, just keep your head on a swivel, you know, lock your guns at where you think you're going to shoot, and then look around it, and then just kind of put the cursor over the enemy. If you see someone low, take a shot at them. That's not how I normally advocate playing, and a lot of times I'll let my teammates finish off a ship I'm shooting if I think it's going to help the team win, but, you know, for Krakens, you're just trying to get five kills, just... Kill everything, <laughs> every ship you possibly can. And like I said, again, it's a difficult challenge. I know it's going to be very hard for a lot of you, but it's easier than 150k, so if you do that, you know, you have a light at the end of the tunnel. So I hope those tips kind of helped you out a little bit. If you have more that you want me to expand on, just leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. I want to help as many of you get through this as I possibly can, so that's the goal. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots more World of Warships where that's coming from. And we'll see y'all later. Alright, peace.